Okay guys, welcome back. So while you're hunting these majestic beasts, I pose this question to you. Who wouldn't want to fly through the sky spreading fire and brimstone while rarely ever having to sharpen your weapon? If you love zipping around with your bug stick and insect friend, consider adding the Master's Touch Firefly into your Master Rank arsenal. It's my insect glaive build that comes with a very high base affinity and utilizes the Master's Touch skill bonus, which gives a clean hunter a virtually infinite supply of sharpness. So, let's get into building this bad boy. The weapon we're going to be running is the Blossom Majesty Insect Glaive. This is the insect glaive that comes from the Rathalos tree. I paired it with the Foliocath 3 Kinsect with Fire Element. This bug leaves behind a blast dust to further play into the theme of this weapon. The head is the Golden Headdress Beta. The chest, arms, and waist come from Teostra's Master Rank Armor. These are all Beta pieces. And the legs are the Gruga Greaves Beta. Your charm is the Handicraft Charm 4. And if you're going to see in these clips, you're not going to see the Rajang headpiece because I felt like it kind of clashed with the overall look of it, so I'm using layered armor. As for the decorations, you've got a sharp deco in the weapon, a flight handicraft level 4 deco, and a blaze deco in the head, an expert level 4 deco along with two vitality decos in the chest. We're going to be putting an enhancer vitality level 4 deco and another enhancer deco in the arms. We'll be slotting in a refresh expert deco, an enhancer deco, and an expert deco in the waist. We'll be popping in another refresh expert deco, a critical deco, and a refresh deco into the legs. Now, that's a lot of jewels, so mind you, if you're having trouble building it, that's most likely why you, you probably need to grind a few more tempered hunts, but uh, yeah. Anyways, this gives us the following skills. We get critical eye at 7, handicraft at 5, health boost 3, weakness exploit 3, Power Prolonger at 3, Stamina Surge at 3, Blast Attack 2, Heat Guard 1, Critical Boost 1, Fire Attack at 1, Airborne 1, Latent Power 1, Protective Polish, along with the bonus skill Master's Touch, which mind you gives you that ability to rarely ever have in a sharpen, since your critical hits aren't going to make you lose sharpness. So, the main gimmick behind this build is maintaining that ever so sweet purple sharpness, and we're going to do that through Master's Touch. This build has a base affinity of 60%, 90% against weak spots, with 110% when hitting those softened weak spots. This means that if you're diligent with hitting those softened weak spots, you will always hit a critical. This ensures that our attack bonus from the purple sharpness persists through the whole hunt, and we won't have to sharpen our weapon as often something that always makes for a comfortable hunt when you don't have to stop and sharpen. Pairing this with Protective Polish even further lengthens that purple sharpness since even if you don't crit, you'll still maintain the purple sharpness as long as that's available to you. As for playing into optimizing our Insect Glaive play, Power Prolonger and Stamina Surge at max ensures that the Stamina Hungry weapon will recover at a faster rate while allowing our Kinsect Extract boosts to last much longer. Airborne is an essential skill for running Insect Glaive, since these aerial moves, even the new ones, don't have the most damage, and your strongs combos will always be your ground combos. But, while you're zipping around the sky, you might as well optimize it a bit, yeah? And that's where Airborne comes in. It grants us an additional 30% damage buff on our jumping attacks. To be honest, this is going to be one of those builds where I don't have many adjustments for you. The only adjustments I can think of are in the weapon augments and kinsect selection. If you want to ramp up the healing, pick a kinsect that leaves behind the healing dust. You can also utilize the affinity augment in the weapon to get a base affinity of 70 instead of 60, and this bumps it up to 100% on weak spots. And as per usual, I did pick a health region augment in mind. But if you can augment your weapon for the additional space, you might as well fit the Affinity Augment into it, right? And guys, it's another build in the books. Thanks again for tuning in and checking out the Master's Touch Firefly. 
This was a super fun build to work with, and one that I hope will work out for you. And with elemental damage bolstered in Iceborne, it helps out to have a build like this. Once again, I need to emphasize that these are not meant to replace the meta, but complement the game with interesting ways to play. I hope you enjoyed my build, and if you did, I'd love to hear from you. Please comment down below, like the video if you liked it, and if you want to stay up to date with everything else I put out, please consider subscribing to my channel. I always appreciate when I hear from you guys, hit me up my socials, and of course, as always, you stay frosty hunters, and get lifted. Bye guys.